What do you want? That's a tone. What do you want, Jess? Something's obviously up. I can tell by your voice. Tell me, what's going on? Matt? Okay, don't tell Mom. Put it on speaker. Okay. Lori's motorcycle is parked at a motel. Oh, Jesus, you're kidding. Where? Uh, 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 some motel in Kingsway. Oh, the 2400 motel? Oh, those cute little cabins. Those cute little cabins? Yeah, yes. Was there another vehicle parked beside Lori's bike? Uh, I, don't, I don't, there's a car there. I don't recognize it, though. Were you following her? No, I wasn't following her. You say that like it's wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. Question, how did you happen to be there? I, I just stopped for a chicken burger, and, and I looked across, and... I saw her bike. Does he have his meds? Maybe you should go down there. Do you want me to come down there? No, I do not want you to come down here. Okay, good. Wait her out. Remind him about my birthday. Don't forget about Mom's birthday dinner tonight, okay? Take care. Hang in there, sweetie. What? I've been on speaker. Hang up. It might be nothing. talk about it. What, your wife's in a motel all day? We're not gonna talk about it? All day? We don't know how long she was there. That's guesswork. I'm sensing it was long enough. What'd you say to me? Matt, was she there with a guy or what? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, shit, she was there with a guy. No, no, okay? Would you please, please leave me alone? What did I say about pleading, Matt, huh? What did I say? You said it doesn't work. And? And? And you look like a dick. Right. Now, did you see her come out or not? Oh my God. Oh my God, Maddie, you didn't wait to find out, did you? Oh God, Maddie, where is your backbone? Okay, Jess, Well, leave. this is just, 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 no. just, this leave is it. just, your leave it. it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, he gets it. I don't want to talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. Were you having problems with Lori? I just need to know, do I set another plate or what? Yes, yeah, set a plate. Oh, so you did talk to her. Were you lurking out there? You talked to her, what did she say? I didn't talk to her, she sent me a text. She sent you a text? Sweetie, what did it say? It said she'd meet me here for dinner, okay? Enough. Okay, so with Sean, that's five. consume alcohol, young lady? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Have you lost weight? Uh, um, yeah, well, I think I've been on a diet. I just eat meat. Wow. I found mm. it, obviously. Hey, hey baby. Hey, hey. <laughs> so see you. What's up, dude? Hey. Hey. Um, oh, good. We're going to keep you away. Could I please have some rice? I forgot to put any on my plate. I got it. Thank you. I got it. Thank you very much. Hey. Thank you very much. Wow, this is just fucking great. Well, it should be great. It's takeout. I've actually could take out. TJ's and Malfort. Their steaks are very tough. They could be in the UFC, actually. Yeah, that's fascinating. So, Lori, what'd you get up to today? Me? Um, well, do you remember you remember my friend Alexis, right? What about her? Alexis Nidum. Nidum? Um, from Trail? Yeah, that's one. Um, yeah. What about her? She's in town right now, uh, visiting her mom at a care facility. Oh. Uh, so I just went to go say hi. She's staying in a motel in Kingsbury. She's at 
She is? Yeah. And which one? Oh gosh, what is it called? It's the only one on Kingsway. It's that, that one with the little cabins or whatever, the 2400, that's what it's called. Huh. Kingsway's diagonals freaks me out. Cause you think it's going one way, you're actually going the other, right? It's diagonal, it's weird. Anyway, she really appreciated my visit. What with her mom just being in palliative care and all. It's just awesome. so hard. It's not, it's, she's in palliative care, it's not. No, no, I'm, awesome. but did, you could be there. What is palliative care? Really? It's the last stop. Oh. Right, the end, like, at the end of it. Bummer. Okay. They're really close. So tell us more about Alexis. Uh, it's just been really, really tough on the family. Um, her father passed away last year, so, you know, any, anything. I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Well, yeah, what did he die of? What do you care? You ask that every time. It's interesting. It's okay. Um, it was actually a stroke. Oh my God, this is amazing. Really sudden. It was, you know, he slurred his speech, his face drooped, and then, you know, 20 minutes later, he was just gone. Wow. I remember when Matt's face drooped right oh, after he was born. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know. The whole left side of his face just went <laughs> Mom. That sounds scary. Oh yeah, I had an excruciating pregnancy with Matt. Acid reflux, yeah. vomiting into my throat every day. Oh, and the kicking, I thought Pele was in there for sure. <laughs> right. When we finally story. yanked him out with the forceps, I cried, hallelujah. Okay, I'll see you. See you at home. Love you. So, what do you think about Lori? Lori, I think she's lying. Based on what? You heard her. She came in here. She complimented you. Yeah, she said I lost weight. There you go. I did lose a few pounds. Ooh. <clears throat> I walk in, you stop talking. What is it? You, you heard Lori, okay? She was visiting a friend. Yeah, we heard that. Look, just don't start anything, okay? I'm, I'm telling you. You're telling me? Okay. Look, just... I'm warning you, okay? Mm-hmm. Sweetie, she won't start anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jess, this woman was in earlier going psycho about her bill and now she brought in her boyfriend. Can you just... Go talk to him. Yeah. What? You're the mechanic? Yeah, what about it? What about it? 2100 for a clutch job? Oh, I take it you know about clutches? I know when I'm getting hosed. Question, when your clutch wouldn't engage, why did your girlfriend keep ramming it in? She didn't keep ramming it in. Her flywheel tells a different story. Okay, look, I'm gonna make it simple for you. Oh, please. I'm not paying this amount. How much should it cost? How much should it cost? How much should it cost? 1100. And it would, except we couldn't machine it because your girlfriend ground the fuck out of it. So we had to replace it another thousand, 2100. I'm not doing this. Fine. I'm in awe. They're, they're not budging. They're, they're not budging. They're not budging. They say you rammed in the quad. What do you mean I didn't fucking ram? You rammed it, you rammed it in. They had to I do, I don't know. More. You said you would fix this, come on. Fine. Oh, we don't take debit. Hustle! I'm coming, I'm coming! God, look at this place. It's okay. If I had to live here, I'd kill myself. It's sort of the idea. <laughs> I need to pee. I have a bad feeling about this. This better not be about you. Me? Why would it be about me? It's overkill, don't you think? No, I don't think. Uh, can I help you ladies? Oh, hi. Do you know Mrs. Nidham? Hi, I'm John. Hi, John. I'm Marion. Ah. Are you the warden around here? 
Uh, no, I just live here. Oh. Uh, oh. Are you moving in? No. Do you know where Barbara Nidum is? Barbara. Oh, yeah, she's in the uh, lounge. Can I show you? No. Really? He thinks I'm moving in here? Mrs. is Nidum? Mrs. Nidum, hi, how Hello. are you? Hello, yes, yes. Hi there. Oh. I'm Mary and this is my daughter, Jessica. It's so nice to see you here. They said you'd be here and here you are. <laughs> We're just checking up on you, see how you're doing. How I'm doing? Yeah, what oh. with Lori and Alexis being friends, such good friends, such oh. old friends. Alexis, yes, yes. It can't be easy living here, but it must be nice having Alexis around, hey? Alexis? Well, I haven't seen her for years. I don't know, maybe she's not home. That's her bike right there. Okay, but this requires tax, so let me do the talking. Yeah, just don't go on and on. First of all, let me start off by saying, Laurie, that we like having you in our family. We think you and Matt make a great couple, a stable couple. And we think that stability comes from two people. We know, okay? What? Matt saw you in that motel room, so you can drop the act. We're not judging. We just want you to stop before it's too late. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. We know it wasn't Alexis in the motel room. And how's that? We checked in on Alexis's mom. You tracked down Alexis's mother? Yes, and she hasn't seen her daughter in years. Yeah, um, <clears throat> maybe that's because she has Alzheimer's. Oh. oh. Seriously! Sorry about that. Alexis has been to visit her mother every single day. But she doesn't recognize her. That's, um, what is it with you people? Like, what is your fucking damage? I swear to God, we should go. Yeah. That's, um, that's, uh, too bad about Alexis's mother. Just go. Okay. Just go. Got this new ID card to school. I think you look pretty good. It says a semiotics professor can't be a handsome devil. <laughs> what? Look, Matt. You have to choose between me or your family because I just can't do both. My family? What, what do they do? <laughs> what do they do? something what do you do I like you upset you interrogate an 80 year old woman with Alzheimer's you should show this side to your wife why would you do that why why would we do that why do you think I don't know maybe it's because you have mental breakdowns okay okay what is going on Matt's losing his shit about what mom you go over to our house and you accuse Lori oh yes that um well your motel incident got us worried motel incident yes, yes. nothing happened nothing happened well, nothing happened she was visiting just be thankful we had your back oh okay. thank you exactly. thank you so much look do you want some advice when dealing with Lori Advice from you. When was your last relationship? The 90s? What was that? 
You start drama because you got nothing going on in your life. What did you say to me? Okay. Just because you don't have a relationship, don't sabotage mine. Okay, 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 okay. What? Where's Lori now? She's at home. Well, what's she doing? I, I don't know, packing or something. You left when she was packing or something? Go. Don't! Oh. Ah. No texting Lori. Jesus Christ. Communication makes you look so weak. Oh, communication? I have a master's in communication. You have a master's in shit. This is really pathetic. She leaves me a note? What am I supposed to do? Wait it out. Wait it out? Yeah, you wait it out. And then when time's right, you man up. That's what she wants. Oh, and you know what she wants? Okay. You know what, Lori's easy, man. She wants what she's always wanted. Attention. But she won't give me her attention. She, she won't even tell me where she's staying. I know where she's staying. She's at her best friends. Where else would she be? Here, antelope seek refuge and nourishment by a watering hole. And yet, eyes are upon them. They are being stopped. Hunted. And in an instant, it's over. That antelope never even saw it coming. They always get them when they're by the water. You'd think they'd learn, hey? Where are you going? Out. Out where? To a bar. What for? What do you think? Oh, you're not reacting to what Matt said, are you? No, I can't even remember what Matt said. You know, that thing he said about you being single for so long. No, and anyway, Jay and I broke up in 02, so the 90s? Yeah, right. Well, I'm glad you're going out. You should go out. You should have lots of boyfriends and an attractive woman like you. Yeah, yeah. Listen, do you want to come with me? All my friends bailed. Which friends? This place is dead. It's not so bad. Let's go. Why don't you go sit at the bar? Let me sit at the bar? Yeah, I think the two of us are sending out the wrong vibe. What vibe? Like we're some kind of package deal. You know, divide and conquer. Go sit at the bar, buddy up. Buddy up. What do you think I'm gonna do? Just don't be confrontational. I'm not confrontational. I'm picky. Yeah, don't, don't let that fool you. Since my wife and I separated, I've actually been retaining water, and I literally can't get the damn thing off. Uh, so I, I've been looking around, and I, you know, you're around my age. So okay, I... you're done. Brent. Wow, you look great. Really great. It's not often someone as good looking as you sits on that stool. I come here all the time. I mean, I don't come here all the time. I'm not an alcoholic or anything. It just chats up the ladies when I'm sitting on the bar. Hey, Brent. Hey. Does anyone sit here? Not you. Excuse me. Mind if I join you? The seat is free. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Hi. Hi. My name is Jim. Hi, Jim. I'm Marion. Hi, Marion. Yeah. Nice name. Thank you. Hey. You look just like my ex-wife. This is so weird. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Have I seen you in here before? No, I've never been here in my life before. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of exciting. Yeah, welcome. It's my first time in a bar. I mean, not my first time, but my first time in, you know, long time. I came here with my daughter. Yeah, oh. Jessica. Yeah, I have a son too, Matt. But he's not here. He's, uh, he's just not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's just my fault. Right.
Me? Oh, I, I'm Hungarian. Oh, Jim, this is my daughter I was just telling you about. Ah, uh, hello. Beautiful. Yes, I know. She has my eyes. Can I talk to you? Now? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, excuse me. I'll just be one minute, all right? Get your purse. We're going. Now I'm getting some heat. Oh, fine. You want to spend the night with Santa? Fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's just plugging the meter. Mm. Slow spike. Oh, Bit of a party in there tonight. You're kidding me. There's people in the window. You want to get out of here? Why would I want to get out of here? Because probably want to get her alone, right? Right. Party's not the best time. Yeah, yeah. Want me to go in there and check it out? Yeah. Yeah, do. I'll go check it out. D d don't let her see you. I won't. Partying tonight? Feel like feel like celebrating? Just don't, okay? Stop. Don't what? God, just why are you here? I thought my note was perfectly clear. Oh, you, you thought your I need some time note was clear? There it is. There it is right there. You're just so fucking frustrating. <laughs> I'm frustrating. You're the queen of frustration. Living with you and your moods and your anxieties. Your moods are better? You you're utterly rudderless. I never know what I'm gonna get. You just listen to yourself. Like listen to yourself. When was the last time you looked at me? Well, looked at you what? In what context? In that context? God, even your language wears me down. Just stop it. Just, just tell me, are you seeing someone else? <laughs> Fuck off. What do you think, man? Well, I don't know. After four years of marriage, I get a note. You're... You're right. Um... Yeah. I really should have said this to your face. Goodbye, man. Go home.
Just a little tour. Is this some kind of dungeon or something? No, 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 no. You know, I'm not into any S&M stuff, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Anyway. Come in, come in. At least not on a first date. Gotcha. Holy moly, look at this place. Mm -hmm. Boy, you've got a lot of instruments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Humdi dum. Oh, you're going to play? That. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh. oh God, I love fucking. Oh. see why we have to talk to Matt's therapist. Maybe because he's been depressed for two months, just to guess. I mean, what can she gain from meeting us? She asked us to come in. Yes, okay. but why? What for? What for? We're here, so let's just do this. Well, either way, I'm not talking. Good. I'm definitely not talking about myself. Blubber all my feelings as if. She's not some psychotherapist. So what is she? She's a therapist. Therapist? I don't know. She's something. Oh, she's something. That's encouraging. Jessica. Well, either way, I don't have an opinion. Great. But what Matt doesn't need is some therapist confirming his weaknesses. You don't have an opinion, huh? As if I'd ever trust a therapist. Here. Have a rock. What am I supposed to do with this? You're supposed to rub it. Soothes anxiety. Okay, let's switch gears. I'd like to invite your mom and your sister. You knew, you. didn't you? That day I said goodbye to you, that... I said I didn't need you. You knew I'd be back, didn't you? Well, we can definitely get back to that. But today, I want to stick to our schedule. I want to invite your mom and your sister. Matt, we talked about this. Yeah, I, I can't want... watch that show. Not today. 
Where's Smitty? Yeah. How'd it go? Good. Hi, Mary and Jessica. I'm ready for you. Oh, okay. Don't hijack this meeting. Let her do the talking, okay? Yeah, yeah. Have a seat wherever you like. How are you today? Oh, very good. I like this blue blanket. That's yeah, nice. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Fine parking okay? Oh, yes. I found a spot just outside there. Oh, good. Expensive. It was $6 an hour. <laughs> I didn't have enough change, so I had to use that that app, that, that uh, parking app. What's the name of that app? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I use that. It's very convenient. Well, I would like to thank you both for coming here today. Clearly, you're here about Matt. Mm -hmm. I have been very concerned about him, so I have done a risk assessment. And what? He said he was going to kill himself? Is that why we're here? Don't be silly. Yes, that is why you're here. Oh, my God. He wouldn't do that to us, Mom. Well, actually, Jessica, it's not something he would do to you. Suicide is rarely about other people. It is about wanting to stop the pain. I get that. But Matt's going through a hard time right now. His marriage is falling apart. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's purely situational. Based on what? Based on the risk assessment. His feeling of hopelessness has escalated. Yeah, but since he was like four, Matt's been on Luvox and listening to Radiohead. Yeah, I, I know that, but he's more vulnerable now. So you're saying we're not a close family? Is that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what she's saying, Jess. But you're saying we wouldn't look out for him. What I'm saying is at this point, you need to come together to support him. Oh, so this is like a heads up. In a sense, yeah. Oh, good. I'm well, I'm out. Do not leave this room. Oh. Do, excuse me for a second. Of course. What was that? What was that? What did I just say, <sighs> huh? Mom, what are you doing? I'm changing it up. I think it's been swarmed by bush tits. Oh, a feeder. Mm-hmm. Trying something new. Suet. What is suet? Well, it's birdseed, cornmeal, and a bit of peanut butter and lard. <laughs> it's disgusting, but the birds seem to like it. But in the summer, if it gets rancid, oh, it's just disgusting. Have you been drinking? Yes, Mom, I've been drinking. No. I'm pregnant. I, I don't want to pry or anything, but, um, whose isn't? Oh, Mom, I, that's not the conversation I'm trying to have right now. I just... It's just you've been spending so much time with Sean, and you're separated, and... Yeah, I'm not. I don't... No, I can't talk about that. Okay. Well, uh, what about your... your singing and, and all that? What about it? You won't be able to focus on your career in the same way, and... I, I'm not really sure what you're getting at. Okay, sweetie. Maybe... Maybe you just want to sit this one out. <sighs> okay, obviously it's your decision, and I support you. Either way. I thought you'd be excited for a grandkid. Well, I am. It's just, honey, I've already got three. Have you seen my purse? Oh, there it is. Where are you going? Paying Matt to the therapist and hooking up with Jim. Hmm. How are things going with Jim, anyway? Oh, he's fine. Sex is great, but his opinions I could live without. You know those people who don't listen, they just think about what they're gonna say next? No, no. Hmm? Nothing. Okay. Come on. 
take the egg with us. Hi there, I'd like to pick up my car, Mr. Dufas. Oh yeah, it'll be ready tomorrow. Tomorrow? What? What are you talking about? I had to order a part. You had what? What? What part? Vent solenoid. What? I don't know. They called you about it. Look, 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 look. I got a big night. I have a big date, and I can't go and pick her up in a courtesy car. We don't have courtesy cars. You don't have a courtesy car? You're killing me here. Can we please, please, please talk to the mechanic? Work through this, get creative, whatever. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm just so upset right now. I can't even think straight. I'm just What happened? Ugh. My mom. She Cancer? No, Sean. Um I'm pregnant. Oh. Yeah, anyway, so I you know, I tell her the news. And you're not gonna believe this. She <laughs> She says, maybe you should sit this one out. Like, what does that even mean? I think it's from hockey. You sit the shift out, play bad. Am I crazy? Is that like insane for a mother to say to her daughter? She's kind of got a point though, right? Are you serious? Well, if you don't take care of it sooner or later, you got to do a DNC, which on the fun scale is like one. You should talk to Matt. You okay? I don't know. Thinking about my son, he's fighting a depression. But he's a professor. Yeah, so? So at least he's got coverage. What's that got to do with anything? My kids are fucking up without coverage. Please, I don't want to talk about coverage, or your kids for that matter. That's my point. Your kids, my kids, they're adults, Marion. There's not a lot we can do. That's a lazy man's answer. There's always something you can do. If you ask me... I'm not asking you. We've made things too comfortable for our kids. In case you haven't noticed. You know, my kids move home like it's no big deal after flopping out of this or that. I mean, kids today, they're okay with failure, with weakness. Oh, now you're saying my son is weak for moving back home. No, I'm saying you're weak for letting him. What, what, what? Come on, what'd they say? Can you watch him? Lofasa Shegedba. Shit. My brother was right. 
Don't date Hungarians. Oh, that's for empl employees only. I gotta go because my truck is running. I'm You're sorry. a fucking asshole. I know. You're a fucking asshole. <sighs> You're an asshole. Hi. Okay, listen. I need you to come by. I need to talk to you right now. Yeah? How's it going? Good. Jess in there? Yeah. Okay. What? What? It was Sean. What? It was Sean in the motel room with Lori. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I just said it was Sean. Yeah, but sex doesn't mean anything to Sean. He'll screw anything with a mouth. So what? We're just gonna tell Matt his best friend's been fucking his wife? Of course we're not gonna tell him. That could tip him right over the edge. And there's more, because the hits just keep on coming. Is it true? Matt, what are you doing here? You look so beautiful right now. Thanks. I, uh, l listen, um... I, I want to say some things. Okay, I know that we're, like, whatever. Okay, but I will be there for you. I want to have this baby with you. And I'll get you anything you need, okay? Like classes and vitamins and, and the folic acid. And actually, I found out that if you have too much folic acid, it can lead to autism. It's not yours. What? I don't know what else to say. It's, um... Uh, uh, how can you be so sure? Well, if it was yours, I'd be having a difficult pregnancy. A difficult... what? I would be able to feel the baby's anxiety and neediness, and I don't. I feel really good. Look, I know this is hard. I get that. I... Sorry.
Okay. Is Matt here? He didn't come home. Uh, no, he left a couple of hours ago. Okay, okay, just come in. Where is he? Where is Matt? You people, that's nice. You lied about everything fucking okay, imaginable. Hey, hey, from hey, fucking hey. your husband's best hey, friend to wow. Alzheimer's oh, to cover your wow. fucking wow. trash. I like wow. that toe. Oh. Fine, what happened? Where is he? We don't know. Did he give you any idea where he was going? No. Well, what happened, Lori? What did you say? Calm down. Answer the question. Oh, I need to answer to you. Okay, we have a little bit of a situation here, but the fact is, Lori, you're having a baby. Not his. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Unknown caller. Yes, who is it? Hello? Yes? Uh, yes? Who this is, is it? This is Marion Horvat. I'm sorry? Could you repeat that, please? What? Hello? It's a fucking telemarketer. Well, I didn't know, did I? Matt, what did you do? That's okay. That's it all. Okay, there we go. Matt, what did you do? I need to talk to you. Talk to you right now. Jessica Elegmar. Come on, let's get you in the shower. Socks. Mom, we need to take him in. Jessica, I'm not having this conversation again. We are not taking him in. You do a lap through the psych ward, you try something like that. He needs professional help. Oh, you sure flip-flopped. First you shit on professional help, and then that's what he needs. Mom! Jessica, there are some things you just don't talk about. This is top of that. He needs to get checked out. Oh, and you just decided it. No, how... he decided. Okay. He decided. He had a moment, but he came back. That is not good enough. Hey, sweetie, come on in. Let's get you by the fire. Come on. Here you go. Can I talk to you? Either you take him in or I will, but either way, he's gone. Go. Do it. Matt. Mom! We gotta take you in, get you checked out. I know. I'll go. I want to. I just, I still don't feel right about this. I don't feel right about it. I don't understand you. You wanted him to go in, he said he'll go in, he said he's fine with it. Well, that's just it. Now he's fine with it, sitting by the fire. We've done everything for him, and an hour ago he was gonna do that to us. But he didn't. He 
didn't. Hallelujah. Just a tote. Come on in, have a seat. How are you? Don't ask me that. I'm not here to talk about my feelings, okay? Okay. Why are you here? Uh, I have no idea. My mother suggested it. Hmm. But you don't have to be here. What do you and Matt talk about? Well, I can't tell you that. He tried to kill himself. And you can't tell me I'm his sister. Well, we can talk about your feelings. We can talk about you. My feelings. <laughs> I don't believe in therapy, okay? Okay. Well, what do you do for a living? Uh, me, I'm a car mechanic. I work at Grand Tire. Really? Do you like it? Do I like it? Uh, <laughs> I could do it in my sleep. I so need a change. What's preventing you from making a change? Um, what's preventing me? Um, I don't know. Why are you here? Matt doing what he did. But Matt's okay now. He's been assessed, and we no longer feel that he is a threat to himself. All right, but why would he do that to me, to my mom? To stop the pain. To stop the pain. Is that going to be your answer for everything? No, for this. But he would do that to me, to my mom? What the fuck? But it's not about you, Jessica. Right, again with that. But there's only the three of us. You don't think that we would be destroyed picking up the pieces from that? No, I think you would be devastated. It is devastating to lose a family member to suicide. But you grieve, and in time, you get over it. Oh, fuck this. Fuck you. I'm sorry about that. It's OK. My head's kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. I guess, um, I guess I'm here because I feel angry. I feel pissed. I feel like I have these thoughts in my head and they just click over and over and over again and I can't, I don't have any control of them. What thoughts? Can you describe them? Like after Matt did the thing, I felt flooded with rage. I was so angry. Go on. I felt like, you know, fuck you. You would do that to us? Like after, after everything, after all the support, after everything, after everything we've done for you, after trying to get you out, every jam you're in, and after that you would fucking do that to us? I would feel used. I feel fucking betrayed. And my mother, she's like, she's fine. She, she feels relieved. She's going along like, and Matt's going along like nothing happened too. So, you know, the whole thing, it's fucking weird. And I, 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 I feel so angry and I, 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 I can't sleep and I can't eat and I'm distracted at my work and I just, am I, a, am I a bad person for thinking that? Am I a bad sister for having those thoughts? No, not at all. All the family members, loved ones, who have been through what you have been through, they feel the same thing. You know, Matt, doing what he did, it just fucked me up. It just tears everything. It tips everything over. Of course, it is so understandable what you are feeling. I feel so alone. <laughs> Look at me, I'm blubbering like a fucking idiot. This was actually really awesome. Can I come back again next week? Of course. Hey, Jess. Oh, hey. You're okay? Am I okay? Yeah, you just seem kind of down or distracted, and now you're in a car. And... <laughs> I am down. About what? Sorry, no, it's none of my business. 
I, it's personal. No, it's, no, it's okay. You know, I'm just dealing with some. Anyway, I, I'm seeing someone. Wow, great! It, it, that tall guy that came in here, the, the dark hair, tall guy. No, oh no, no, I'm no, I'm seeing a therapist. That's great. That's great. <laughs> God, I hate this place. Yeah. So, like, I just I can't. Thank God you're here. <laughs> um, you want to go for drinks tonight? Drinks? Uh, no, you know what? Don't. No. no it, uh, it, uh, yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay. You want a drink? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, don't go in any trouble. Mm-mm. No trouble. Cheers. Thank you. Can I take your jacket? Yeah. Sure. Have a seat. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I like your place. It's really like knickknacky. You know, I'm sorry. It's not. It's not happening. What? It's not working for me. Okay. Oh no, it's working. Maybe that's what you're scared of. No, right? scared. I'm not scared. Okay. I'm not scared. It's not that. Then what? I used to work at this other shop and I got involved with a mechanic and things went south or sideways or whatever and then either way it got impossible. Impossible? Look, I wasn't one of the guys anymore. So they all hit on me or they treated me like I was a slut. And I just don't want any part of that. Is this one of those like don't shit where you eat stories? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. No, I'm, I'm leaving at the end of the month. Oh, yeah? I quit. Oh. Who's she with? Who's with what who? Lori, Mom. She said it's not mine, so who is it? I'm sorry? Mom, who's she with? Okay, fine. You need to know. I understand that. I was the same with Jim. I wanted to know about Jim, and I found out. Boy, did I ever. This one time I got to his place, the last one was leaving. I thought, my God, where does he get the stamina? And it wasn't just the tub of no-name Cialis he kept by the bed. No, he really knew what he was doing. He did this one thing with his finger. It was Sean, okay? It was Sean. You're joking. No. Really? Really, miss? I have to tell the truth at all costs? You heard Sarah. She did an assessment. He's fine. Oh, oh, a couple of therapy sessions, suddenly you're the expert. You do know that he tried to commit suicide, don't you? I'm right here. Right. Hi. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, hi, sweetie. Hi. Come on in. Come on in. Hi, come in, come in. Oh, hi, honey. Have a kiss for me. Have a kiss for me. 
Brandon's got some food for you. You just missed Lori. She's rehearsing. Rehearsing? Rehearsing what? Well, she's giving a show tomorrow night. Lori's giving a show? Mm -hmm. She's gonna strut and grunt her stuff seven months pregnant? Apparently. Do you love her? Look, I love her, you know I do, but nobody wants to see that. And Lori is a me person. Yeah, she is. And that doesn't work with kids. They need your undivided attention. Yeah, they do. Well, how is she anyway? Well, the baby's moving around a lot and it really bugs her. I'm sure it's nothing. Well, she complains a lot about it. Oh yeah, her I'm fine, I'm fine routine while she's writhing around on the floor. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Song. Okay, I'm fine. Everybody, I'm fine. Let's do this. Run the top, please. Oh, is it hot in here? Holy shit. Let's just take a break. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Come on, dude. Just play the fucking song. Swear to God. I'm a nervous talker, but I don't know what to say. I'm a nervous talker, but I don't know what to say. Woman. I haven't seen you in like two months. Don't sit down. Don't don't sit. Don't no. I'm sorry. All right. I, I don't want to hear this. I am sorry. No. I get that. Okay, honestly. But I gave you what you needed. You gave me what I needed. If it wasn't for me, there'd be someone else. And then who knows, right? But it wasn't Sean. It was you. It was you. That's exactly what I'm saying. Just think about this. It's there for you because of me, right? It's all laid out. It's all laid out? Lori's living at her mom's. She's broke. You can't lay it out any better than that. Go. You have to leave. Right now. Bye, Sean. Bye, Marion. Nice to see you. Goodbye. Come by again. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Um. So, how are you? How am I? I'm definitely not very fucking good. Hey, language. We have talked about this. For God's sakes, Leanne. You ask me a fucking question, I give you a fucking answer. I'm in for this shit. I'm sorry. This, this, this baby thing is so not my cup of tea. Tell me about it. Oh man, it's just like, can't eat, can't sleep. I'm, I'm flipping out. It's your first baby. It's okay to have nerves. Uh, I don't think it's nerves. I don't, like, no. No, that's, that's, that's not it. It's not nerves. Okay, fine. Well, it's like, it's always punching me and kicking me if it's like hungry or wants attention. It's just like this incessant anxiety and neediness. What? Oh, I am such a fucking idiot.
tell you things. Why can't you tell me things? What? Where's this headed? What was Megan doing here? She just stopped by to pick up a thumb drive. Oh, was that after you kissed her? Yes, okay. So, so what? So nothing. So loop me in. I'm dying to know. Confide in me once in a while. Well, not everything. Just the details. You know, I didn't tell you because I thought that you would be upset. Upset? Why? You know, no chance of procreation, and I know you're into that, so... Oh, honey. I gave up on you years ago. I'll get it. What do you want? I want to talk to Matt. About what? Just... Can you just get him for me, please? No. About fucking what? Look, I, I miss him, and I just... God damn it, Jess! What are you doing? What? Let her in. Why should I? He's better off married. What, to that snaky bitch? I suppose you enjoy watching him drag his broody ass around here. Let her... Let her in! Let her in! <laughs> See? Oh, hi. Hey, Lori, come in, come in. How lovely to see you. It's nice to see you. Oh, give us a hug. Oh, oh yeah, my. it's a lot. Wow. <laughs> wow, hello in there. Let me take your coat. Oh, thanks. What do you want? Lori's here. She is? What? Where? Downstairs. If downstairs, downstairs? Her butt? What does she want? She wants you. She does? Can I just say something? Look, can you just stop that? Can I just say something? What? Make her work for it. Make her work for it? She lied to you. She cheated on you. She'll do it again if you don't play this right. If you really want her back, she needs to hear three little words from you. Right. Lead with that? No, dumbass. Not those three words. Right. Hey. Hey. I have to see you. Why? Maybe I fucked up. I really fucked up. I made a huge mistake. Yeah, I know. I'm here because I'm sorry. And I'm... I want to make it right. What changed your mind? You did. Your kid kicked in, like, literally is kicking me right now. It's yours. I mean, it's ours. It's... It's too late, Lori. It's too late. No, it's... It's not. Please you should don't leave do this. before Jess sees you. She already did. Jessica! Jessica! Turn that off! What? What did you do? What did I do? Nothing. Lori's gone. Matt's in the fetal position. Obviously, something has happened. What did you do? Nothing. I don't get it. It really seemed like Lori wanted to put it back. You know, and if I did do something, I had Matt's best interest in mind, okay? She's just Maria Jessica. What, like you haven't played a guy to get him back? Bust me! Bust me! Don't pull. Don't pull. Carol! Hi! Carol! Hey, how's it... Oh, no, don't do that. Wait up. Marion, Marion, I got nothing to say to you. I don't want to talk to you. You don't have to talk. Just listen, okay? Let me start by saying how sorry I am about last time, the way it played out. Obviously, Jess choking Lori didn't go as planned. I think it was just one of those escalating things that in the end doesn't represent the true feelings of the... Marion. Marion. Okay. We both want the same thing. Why not be on the same page? As if I want Lori living in my house raising a kid, but what about Matt and his mental health? Mental health? <laughs> no. No, he has turned a corner. He is, 
He is awesome. He is just awesome. Awesome? Yeah. I have a friend who's a nurse at VGH. I know Matt was in the psych ward. Yeah, but not the psych ward psych ward. Not Olivia de Havilland in the snake pit. <laughs> or Cuckoo's Nest or anything like that. Look, honestly, I don't think Matt and Lori have a future. Oh, no. They have a future. I'm gonna make sure of that. What, you're, you're threatening me? No, I would never threaten you. No, I'm just saying that Matt is the father. Okay, look, I don't want to be blunt, You but... don't believe me. Ask Lori, ask her. She came over this afternoon to get back together with Matt. She did? Yep. And that's why Matt and I are here. Matt's here? Yeah, he's in the car. Oh. Right there. Okay. See? Wave. <laughs> okay, 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 look. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna talk to Lori. You guys wait out here, and if she wants to talk, I'll give you a sign. Okay, come on, Nick. Okay. Hi. Okay, so it's set. We're waiting till she gives us a sign. She's gonna give us the thumbs up. Did you go over to Matt's this afternoon to get back together with him? What if I did? Did you? Yes. Okay. Apparently, Matt got bad advice from Jess. What else is new? Matt and Marion are parked out front right now. Really? God. Honestly, if I were you, I would keep my options open. Look, he's just sitting there. Where have I seen that before? Don't you think you should talk to him? No, I'm done talking to him. went that well, to be honest. Oh yeah? What makes you think that? Hey, I just got off the phone with Carol and she thought it would be a really good idea if you and I went to Lori's show. No, we're not going. Okay, but Carol said that Lori said- Mom! Suit yourself. Mom? Where's mom? At Lori's concert. Oh, is that all you have to say to me? You set me up. I didn't set you up. You set you up. You set you up. Oh, really? How's that? Matt, I'm not fucking doing this. You sabotage my one chance to get back together with Lori. That is bullshit. And then you steal my therapist. I didn't steal your therapist. We don't even talk about you, okay? We talk about me. Me, which I fucking love. You always do this to me. You always fucking do this to me. Christ, Matt! I'm not fucking doing this. If you want Lori back, go fucking get her. Or don't. Or whatever. But leave me the fuck out of it. Oh, 
Is Matt coming? I don't know. I told him. It hasn't started yet, huh? Of course not. She's always late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Sean. Yeah. I hope he comes. Hi, Sean. Oh, hey, Mary. Yes. Hello. You needed me, so here I am. Yeah, that was before you told me to fuck off. I came over to your house I... and I poured my heart out to you, and you told me to leave. Looks like they're fighting. Oh no, no, no! This, this is a good sign. It's a chorus coming up. You should sing. Don't tell me what to do. Just give them some space. All right, look. You think this stunt you pulled is gonna change anything between us? You are so fucking wrong. Good. We are done. We are so finished. It's not even funny. I don't even know where to start. We're so done. Well, let me start. I didn't like the way you came over today. What? The way I came over today? Yeah, as if you expected me to take you back. Which honestly rankled me. It rankled you? It rankled you. Just get the fuck out. Seriously, fucking go. Are you finished? No, I'm not finished. I'm just getting started. Dude. 